And let's say that it was gone midnight, and for the sake of averages, let's say that we, or you, or I, or some number of us are yawning competitively on Hungerford Bridge. I have known this bridge since I was a teen. Much about the bridge, or bridges, or what threatens to connect us all has changed over the years, but it is still the case that one of the central piers of Hungerford Bridge is something of a graveyard for broken skateboards and converse shoes. Votive offerings, gull shat and bleach under, bless you, under whatever capital city weather decides as a sun. But this is wrong already, all wrong. We are not on Hungerford Bridge. We are all wrong, and let's say that we are instead yawning not on anything across a goose flesh expanse of mercantile mudlark, leavened mud, but instead on a cliff top. Let's say a cliff top as mud be on a postcard and there might be bluebirds totally over us totally the sky is blue because of them the bluebirds their sheer preening number and i read that eastern bluebirds sing in a fairly low pitch warbling song made up of several phrases each consisting of one to three short notes harsher chattering notes may be interspersed with whistles the whole song lasts about two minutes who times the birds i ask myself i'm glad of their <laughs> metrics Let's say that we are on this cliff and there is this big fire safety stage curtain of a Union Jack behind us and the blue is birds. We'll get to the white and we can only imagine the red and we are, as I say, yawning competitively by agreement. We are blinded by the light. The north wind wafts over the fields, not a cloud in the sky. The blue has a chewing gum breath. Something is blowing that refreshes everything. The dust is gone, old habits or real. Time for a sacrifice. Who still dares to burn potato leaves in the field? Not the leaves in the field, but your hands. Someone casts a line. <laughs> See how it grows. The wind tugs at the duckweed on the water. The widow has taken off her dress and just stands there with parted shoulders. Hide a branch in the ground. Tamp it down and change nothing. Everything screams at the wind and holds its breath. And let us say that we're exchanging top tips for, say, removing stains from polyester curtains, or we are swapping cigarettes, or yes, we are yawning competitively. Let's say all three with emphasis on the latter. That was a good one, my companion might say, leaning on their shovel. And they might run their thumb against the grain of the shovel's wooden handle. This might be done unconsciously and without meaning anything by it. And I might assume my companion was talking about my yawn. A good one, they might repeat. I'd love that. And they might have time to raise their voice above my conditional clauses and the noise of all these blue birds over these white cliffs, interspersed by whistling. Thylosanic, they might say. Thigh, I might query, not catching any drift. Dialogue is difficult. The cliff top breeze, the birds, the safety curtain and klaxons. We understand. They might continue. Thylosanical, if you prefer. We are, if you will remember, we should remember during all of this, we are on a cliff. But if we are on Hungerford Bridge today, this very day, you might see the sleek, steep cormorant of the shell building has a pride flag flying atop it. It is the season, the bluebirds whistle and the dogs whistle, and you can be sure of Shell is one hell of an ad campaign. Not so much as slogans of threats, ugh, the G in the word campaign hiding in plain sight. Do you ever think how hard 
your hard parts might be one day, conditional claws, and they might be useful, say, your jawbone or your bones. They might be useful in production of fossil fuels. My jawbone, for example, a mouth part, a bird's beak yawning or singing silently, but wow, that's great. Flags really are something else, something else entirely. And I cannot comment on the amount of bluebirds that might be over the shell centre today. If you try and look up Shell PLC on Amnesty International's official website using South Bank Centre's free Wi-Fi, that's South Bank, one word, you cannot immediately <laughs> access the site. Access blocked, it says. You have tried to access a web page which is in violation of your internet usage policy. The category is advocacy organisations. And then I am then offered the choice. Do I proceed? Do I go back? The pilgrim on crossroads looking for shells and on the internet or on the lintel, many mollusks have only one powerful, muscular foot, metric or imperial. Where was I? The cliff top. Better if this light in the field chapel blooded by candles. The choir does not give itself away, falling in, taking one's place, moving to the right, knowing one's place and keeping time, appearing on time and vanishing in the twilight, becoming one body, one body, one voice that climbs and climbs, air bubbles that well up out of pure water washing his hands in it, then showing them to each other, open, without fear, feeling no shame when we didn't know the fine detail of what goes on outside. Generally, forget what is better forgotten. We celebrate our cohesion. Let's sing it out Oh, sing it out. <laughs> Let's say that this, it's now gone midday and my conditional clauses are a little spoiled beneath the sun and we stand as we have stood for years or, or hours and all as chalky mouthfuls and sea salt or theseus grit, years of the cliff dust frosting our hair, our hairs cementing half moons under our fingernails. My cartilage is no good as an energy resource, unforgiving, crepitous in the knees. There'll be bluebirds, there'll be bluebirds, an inability to whistle. I read among the strange things associated with homosexuality and or sexual inversion in the late 1800s, medical literature, in vertical commas, uh, means that the inabis inability to whistle, uh, that's a sign. You can render all manner of hard parts down without thinking even once about two second songs. And the thylacine, the Tasmanian tiger, you all know it, now extinct. It, can open its jaws in excess of 120 degrees, and that's an obtuse angle for an obtuse fact. And let's say that on the dot of midday, the sky might be bird blue clear, but far from quiet. I am whistling and humming at the same time, competitively. We might imagine migratory birds or tigers or a blushing or a sea's shell, depending on my companion's mood, the frothing sea or the riverbank or the feather-light etiquette or labrous edge of satire will dictate with its present good humour whether they might decide to write up the evening in the log with words like pearls or sable. And there's no harm in spicing up the report from time to time. I might think about logs and the rest of it on account of the yawning <laughs> we keep silent and chomp. Don't we come from somewhere after all? Speaking forcefully with one voice, with one voice, one voice. Ideas can ripen meanwhile. The oilcloth, not shiny, the edges straight cut. Our faces, smooth. Everything here could fall off the table. The flowers are made of skin. They swell. They soak up everything before they wither. Full of splendor, they wilt. We should dare to call the exotic species among them by their names. A fist that clenches is a face that has smashed to smithereens. 
everywhere, the flowers of the bouquet that is recomposed melts to one color and becomes a fist of flesh in the darkness. Gull might sound above us and we might both flinch. We might grow closer against the wind and share some yawned breath or cliff dust, our record profits. The gull might cover us with all sorts, an egg, for example, a mouthful of its breast feathers, a regurgitated oyster, a jellied eel, or something whiter and glossier and cloacal and cloaking and cooling even as it falls through the air. This might fall like credits or bunting or icing, a doily on our laps, or it might fall across our shoulders, our shoulders, our shoulders might be epaulets, can you imagine? Our jaws unhinged like laughter, the gull and the bluebirds. I might not recognize them by their song anymore. I might not recognize the cliff. I might not recognize the bridging. I might not recognize our context, but I would swap it for this. I would swap it for this. We have the wind behind us and head off with the caravan down the streets. The confetti cannon is fed. And yes, transit, and yes, a refugee center on fire. But are we our brother's keeper? Is our smell surprising, our color? Long live Prince Carnival, who dares to say what we think. The drum majorettes spin round and pull the wool over your eyes pints and polkas. You look great, a man tells us, clad in sensibilia. When does the pain peel? We don't need to take off our masks. Believe us, we deal transparently. Nobody is our enemy. But nobody realizes that. We know nothing and not even that. We touch our left cheek with the fingers of our right hand and say hello. Hello.